Chevreuse is the captain of the Special Protection Patrol of the Court of Fontaine and the new four-star pyro character that uses her polearm and musket to hunt down criminals. Hello guys, I am Kato and in this video we'll break down everything we need to know about Chevreuse including her kit, artifacts, weapons, best teams, constellations and even her ascension materials, without further ado let's get to it. Chevreuse is a HP scaling healer with her kit revolves around healing and buffing the damage of an overload team, her role is limited at supporting teams utilizing pyro and electro characters. So when Chevreuse in the team with either an Electro or Pyro character then triggering overloaded reaction will cause opponents both Pyro and Electro resistance to decrease to a maximum of 40%. Using her elemental skill Chevreuse will shoot at the enemy dealing Pyro damage charged with Ujia energy and healing the active character for a significant amount over some time, while triggering overload will give Chevreuse an overcharged ball. Using the hold skill while you have an overcharged ball will fires an overcharged round to deal high pyro damage over a larger AoE and increase the attack of pyro and electro characters. During her elemental burst, she fires an explosive shot, which will split into secondary bombs that explode on impact. As for her passive talent when Chevreuse in the party, the stamina consumption will decrease. When leveling up her talents we should give priority to her elemental skill first, then elemental burst, and last her normal attacks, though it's better to leave her normal attacks at level 1 cause you won't need it. Now that we know her role and playstyle, picking a good artifact set for her will be an easy task, obviously our first choice will be Song of Days Past, this artifact set will give Chevreuse 15% healing bonus, and will provide the team with damage bonus based on the amount of healing they get. The second choice is 4 pieces of Ocean Hued Clam, this artifact set will give Chevreuse 15% healing as well, and will deal damage to nearby enemies based on the amount of heal Chevreuse deal to the party member. Our last choice is 4 pieces of Noblesse Oblige, it will boost her burst damage, though that's not what we are after, since she can't deal good damage, after all she's not a DPS character, but her burst with this artifact set will boost the team damage by 20% for 12 seconds. As for the main stats, best to go full HP percent, like I said Chevreuse scales of HP, and her 4th ascension passive grants an attack buff to pyro and electro characters based on her max HP, Chevreuse will boost electro and pyro characters with 1% for every 1k HP she have to a max of 40%, and that's why she requires to reach 40,000 HP. After all 40% damage boost for the entire team is quite the advantage, as for the substats focus on HP% percent and energy recharge. Moving on to the best weapons that can suit her, let's start with 5 star options. Though it's rare that anyone will give her 5 star pull arm rather than giving it to a 5 star character, anyway the best 5 star pull arm for her is Staff of Homa, since it provide HP bonus and attack bonus based on Wilder Max HP. And the second choice is Skyward Spine. As for 4 star weapon, the best choice is Fabonius Lance, it has energy recharge substats and provide extra energy recharge with its passive, but you need to have at least 30% crit rate to take advantage of that passive. The second best choice is Rightful Reward, this polearm provides both HP and energy recharge and can be easily obtained by forging it at the blacksmith. The third and last choice is Black Tassel, which provides huge HP stats but it's still 3-star polearm and doesn't have a good passive so use it as a last resort. Now let's talk about team comps, obviously Chevreuse team must be an overload team, so all the pyro and electro characters are welcome, but if we want to get the best of her then 2 electro and 1 pyro characters with her can make a very good team, we can run her with Raiden as sub DPS, Wamiya as main DPS, and Kujo Sarah. And we can replace Raiden with Ye Miko, or Beidou, same for Iwamiya we can use Liney, or Yenfei, as for Kujo Sarah we can replace her with Bennett, or Dehaya, but if you are low AR player and does not have many characters, this F2P friendly team can get the job done, Fischl can be your support, and Xiangling your sub DPS, while you can use Lisa as your main DPS. Finally we got to her constellations. Apparently her constellations doesn't add that much to her gameplay, her C1 gives 6 energy once every 10 second when a character trigger an overload reaction, her C2 will add 2 instances of damage in her skill. But we aren't playing Chevreuse for her damage so this one isn't an important constellation, her C3 and C5 will increase the skill and talent by 3 levels while her C4 will prevent her skill from entering cooldown after using burst. 
until using two held shots or six seconds have passed, so this constellation will give her the chance to double use her skill, which will add a bit for the amount of damage that she will deal, but that's not important. What's important that she will have a second chance to heal. Lastly her C6, this constellation will heal the party members by 10% of Chevreux's max HP after the healing from her skill ends and will provide 20% electro and pyro boost for a maximum of 3 stacks, this is definitely her best constellation making her the best support character for overload teams. Reaching this part of the video means that you intend to pull and build her. So here's the ascension materials that you need to level her up to level 90, and here's the materials that you need to max level up her talents, though just like I said it's better to leave her normal attack at level 1 since you won't use it anyway. If you found this video useful, don't forget to share, like and subscribe, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.